The Red Dead series has a pretty storied past. While I will be covering the various ins and outs of the entire series in other videos, I wanted to briefly talk about how the Red Dead multiplayer has evolved since it rode into our lives nearly 20 years ago. To properly look at the history of Red Dead multiplayer, we have to start at the very beginning and go all the way back to 2004 to look at one of the most underrated games Rockstar has ever released, Red Dead Revolver. Red Dead Revolver shares very little with its redemption counterparts. Again, this video isn't about the core gameplay of any of these games. Those types of discussions deserve their own videos. The multiplayer of Revolver follows that same suit. The showdown mode is what we have for Revolver, and it acts as a deathmatch with poker hands mixed in. Each card you find adds to your hand and gives you a weapon or special ability. Even playing this mode with bots is a blast and it would be an all out war with your friends. Plenty of memories were made here for sure and the fun still holds up today. Seeing a callback to the classic showdown mode from Revolver would be cool to see with unique power ups and card hands to boost players. Characters for showdown mode in Red Dead Revolver are unlocked through the story mode, either by getting excellent ratings in the missions or by buying them through shops throughout the game. This goes for locations as well, making replaying missions in Revolver feel pretty rewarding. Rockstar would decide to change the series formula moving into Redemption. As good as Revolver is for an arcade spaghetti western, this was 100% the right choice. Red Dead Redemption would take a more grounded approach to the series. Rockstar crafted an amazing open world for players to get lost and immersed in, and the online mode for Redemption was the icing on the cake. Not only were players free to explore and have fun with the free roam mode in the open world, but a ton of challenges, minigames, and competition were there for those who were looking for it. More and more things were added with DLC, including Undead Horde Battles, one of the best things offered in any Red Dead multiplayer situation. To my surprise, Red Dead Redemption Online still has servers up at the time of this recording, and it's no ghost town. In any given free roam map, you can find quite a few players milling about, and most of the time, find a game when you're looking for one. Gunslinging isn't the only thing available online with Redemption. Games like Poker and Liar's Dice fill a nice place in the world. It's really nice to chill out and play these mini games after a few gang shootouts or even running from the law all day. Horse racing is another great way to spend your time in Red Dead Redemption Online. Races with weapons enabled get incredibly hectic and it's a hilariously fun time to have Mario Kart-like races on horses in the Wild West. Redemption added so much to the experience when it came to playing online. You can always find something to do, and if you have a full game or lobby, it's a tremendous amount of fun. After years of development, Rockstar would release the absolute masterpiece that is Red Dead Redemption 2. The newly branded Red Dead Online would follow, and it has been met with mixed reactions from the beginning. If you are walking into Red Dead Online these days, you will be overwhelmed with a number of things to do. This is not the problem, in fact, it's one of the biggest strengths of RDO as a whole. The problem most people have with this version of Red Dead Multiplayer is how to access the many things you can do. The roles, which unlock missions like bounty hunting, trading, and moonshining, cost gold. Gold can be earned, but in minimal amounts, and the easiest way to access these roles because of that is by purchasing gold with real money which is kind of the nature of the games industry at the moment. Regardless of the gold and capitale that can be earned, longtime players are feeling ignored these days due to the lack of updates, especially when comparing Red Dead Online to the widely popular Grand Theft Auto Online. This has led to the hashtag Save Red Dead Online. This movement of fans has been very vocal towards Rockstar about the state of Red Dead Online, most calling for the company to either admit they are done with the game and have no plans for updates, or to finally give the fans what they are looking for after over a year of silence. I can understand the frustration of these fans. You love a game and you want to see it do well. But Rockstar has proved time and time again that they don't seem to really care about fan outcry. So unfortunately, it looks like we won't be hearing from Rockstar about this anytime soon. Looking at Red Dead Online as a whole, there is a lot of fun to be had currently. 
This doesn't excuse any of the things I just mentioned, but if you are looking for an exciting Western game to play with your friends, the missions, minigames, and free roam will keep your posse entertained for hours. So what is there really to say about the multiplayer history of the Red Dead series? In all of the games, the story mode or single player aspect blows anything the multiplayer has to offer out of the water, especially once we get into the redemption years, with both of these games having perhaps one of the best storylines in a video game to date. One thing is sure, the multiplayer adds spice and fun that absolutely seem absent when it's ignored by Rockstar in this day and age, where games are updated so frequently, it's easy to feel left out when it's been a year since a substantial update. I think what so many people are worked up about is how good something like Red Dead Online could be. Everyone has their own ideas for a perfect video game, still I honestly believe that if RDO spent more time making the experience feel more like a simulation of Wild West life, with the added chaos of other players, many more fans of the core game would enjoy Red Dead Online more. Making this giant world map feel more like a lived-in area rather than a rented one. While we have things like camps and different locations to call home, feeling like an established member of the in-game universe has always been absent. Still, I believe that what we have for Red Dead Online is something worth playing and experiencing. It's just a shame that the current industry practices make some of the features feel so different. Whatever your opinion is of Rockstar Games, one thing is for certain, they make some of the most immersive and expansive open worlds in the gaming industry today. The multiplayer counterparts have adapted over time as well to fit industry trends, whether people like it or not. This is just a brief history of the multiplayer modes in the Red Dead series. I will have more in-depth videos on the evolution of the single player of the series, which I consider to be pretty much the best you can find when it comes to video games at the time of this recording. Still, I want to thank you for checking out this video about multiplayer in the Red Dead series, and I want to thank my patrons and YouTube channel members, and a special thanks to my largest supporters. Ian Raleigh, Eric W., Popo Hum, JP Rivera, Daniel Adelano, Legendary Angel 94, Billy Joe Jim Bob, and Edgy. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video, and thank you all for the support. I will catch you on the next one. It has been Mantis. For the day you die, you gon' trust the sky, you gon' trust the sky, baby girl, testify, come up in the spot looking extra fly, for the day you die, you gon' trust